Today, two local high schools look to advance in Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will advance to the quarterfinals of our tournament? Will it be Michigan City or Valparaiso? We'll find out soon because we're just moments away from this edition of Making the Grade. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you. is season number eight of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. I'm your host, Andy Schultz, and today, eight of the best and brightest students in all of Northwest Indiana look to push their team into the next round of our academic tournament. What's at stake? Well, of course, the highly coveted Making the Grade championship trophy, as well as scholarship money generously provided by NIPSCO. We'll have a chance to meet our teams a little bit later. Who will advance in this competition today? Will it be Michigan City? or will it be Valparaiso? A spot in the quarterfinals awaits them. We'll meet the individual players later in the show, but we wanna get this game started right now and some points on the board with our first round that we call question and answer. This is pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Buzz in if you think you know it. If you do, five points and uh, no penalty if you miss it. We'll just give the other team a chance at those same five points. Okay, hands on buzzers. Everybody's in with your first five point clue. Connellini. Perico, Navy, Mung, and Fava are all types of what common? Sam from Valparaiso. Beans. They are all types of beans. Yes, five points for the Vikings, and you're on the board first. Next five-point clue, everybody's back in. The Parks Highway in this state connects Fairbanks and Anchorage. Tim from Valparaiso. Alaska. Alaska, offering excellent views of Denali. That's correct, five points for Valpo, and you are up by 10 early on. He used his namesake technique himself to save an older woman from choking. What's Tim from Valparaiso? Uh, the Heimlich. Yes, Dr. Henry Heimlich, five points for Valparaiso, and you're on a roll early on. Egyptian, Prussian, Oxford, baby, powder, electric, cobalt. Sam from Valparaiso. Blue. Are all shades of blue. Yes, five more points for Valpo. Here's five more coming your way. Give the four word title of the Robert Frost poem that concludes with the lines, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Elizabeth from Michigan City. The road not taken. The road not taken, yes. MC on the board for the first time with your first five points. Here's your next clue. Identify the structure torn down in 1989 following Ronald Reagan's challenge Nicholas from Michigan City. The Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall, yes, his challenge to Mikhail Gorbachev separated Germany's capital city at the time. Five more for MC. Used to both shape the soil how you want it and to dig crops like carrots and potatoes out of the ground. What garden tool consists of a flat piece of metal attached to one end of its handle? Tim from Valparaiso. A hoe. That is correct. Five more points for Valparaiso, and you're up to 25. Mrs. Norris in the Harry Potter novels is what type of animal? Sam from Valparaiso. Cat. That is correct. Skimble Shanks and Mungo Jerry in the Broadway musical Cats uh, as well included in that question. Nice job, Valpo. Five more for you, and you're continuing that role. What word, starting with C, is a generic term for mascara, nail polish, and rouge? Chanel from Valparaiso. Cosmetics. Cosmetics, yes. Five more for the Vikes, and you're to 35. Still life moving fast. Lobster telephone. Swans reflecting elephants. And the burning giraffe were created by what Spanish surrealist? Sam from Valparaiso. Dali. Salvador Dali. That is correct. Five more for Valpo. What historical document claims men have the inalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit Nicholas from Michigan City. Declaration of Independence. Yes, Declaration of Independence, five for MC. And you're on the board, of course, the pursuit of happiness. Five more here. On a blustery day, his house blows down along with the tree it was in. Name this wise bird character who lives in a tree in the 100-acre wood in the Winnie the Pooh stories. 
Tim from Valparaiso. Owl. Owl is correct. Five more for you. Nice job, Valpo. You're 245 now. Pencils and paper might be helpful on this one. The verbs seek, buy, bring, fight, and think all have irregular past participles that end with what five-letter sequence? Dominic from Michigan City. O-U-G-H-T. O-U-G-H-T, that's correct. Sought, bought, brought, fought, and thought. As we have concluded our first round of play, Valparaiso with a 45 to 20 point lead. All right, we've played the game. Let's take a pause in that and check out the roster as we meet the class. Starting on the Michigan City side, and I'm talking to Megan, who's a sophomore there. And uh, Megan, you're into horseback riding. You've been doing that for 10 years now. Yep. All right, any like bad incidents? Have you actually fallen off the horse? Or? I've fallen off a few times, but they haven't been too bad. It's not, a bad, it's not that bad? No. It looks worse than it probably is. Yeah. Other hobbies that you have? Any others? Um, I do enjoy art. Yeah, good. Well, very good. Congratulations on being here. Good luck the rest of the game. Nicholas, a sophomore at Michigan City, and uh, you're a golfer, right? Yes, I Play am. for the, the, the school team? Yeah. What's your favorite course? Um, Augusta National. Nice. You get to watch the Masters. It's beautiful, and it's a tease this time of the year when it's cold in northwest Indiana. Yes, it is. It's nice in Georgia. Well, good. Good luck the rest of the game. Dominic, a junior at Michigan City. And uh, your favorite book is A Series of Unfortunate Events, right? Which is actually, interestingly, also the title of my autobiography as well. So what is it about that book that speaks to you? It just seems that like most books try and have a happy ending, yeah. and they're always positive, but these are more realistic. Yeah, that's good. That's good. A little darker, maybe? Yeah. Does that sort of appeal to you literature-wise? Yeah. Yeah, good. All right, well, good luck the rest of the game. Dominic, Elizabeth, a senior at Michigan City. You've been here three years now. We talked about a little bit earlier. And you're a painter, correct? And you like Bob Ross. Yeah. And you're <laughs> in a public television station. Yeah. So you're right at home here. What about Bob Ross do you really love? Um, he has just such a kind and honest temperament, mm -hmm. and I like that he associates himself with small animals like I, I, I do. I think kind is like an understatement. <laughs> He's the most calm person on the planet, I believe. Yeah. That's good. Elizabeth, congrats on being here. Good luck the rest of the way. Michigan City is coached by Brian Richards. As we head over to the Valparaiso side, and I'm talking to Tim, who's a junior part of the speech and debate team. And you said your favorite show is Making the Grade. I'm not sure if I believe that, <laughs> but I'm glad that you put that on your uh, personnel sheet. Uh, the speech and debate thing, though, uh, do you have like a, is, are you looking at a career of convincing others? Like, do you want to be a lawyer or do you just like to do it now for fun? Well, I do like to do it now for fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can use this with the Making the Grade and become a TV anchor. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, then good. You can replace me. That'll be great. Starting right, next right. year, it's your show. All right. Well, maybe two more years. you got to graduate first. Caitlin is a senior at Valparaiso High School. Your favorite movie, Dead Poets Society. That's yep. a great one. Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? Well, we watched it in my English class, 10th mm -hmm. grade. And honestly, Robin Williams is just amazing. So anything he's in, I'm sure. biased towards. And are you yourself a poet? I enjoy poetry, All yes. Right. Well, that's yes. good. And uh, you are into cooking and baking. Anything mm -hmm. that you would be willing to share with others? Or? Um, I made some banana muffins last night. Pretty I have good. some. You yeah, they're pretty it? good. I No, I didn't bring them in. Caitlin, I'd say good luck, but you didn't bring the muffins with you. <laughs> yeah. So it's OK. Just kidding. Good luck the rest <laughs> of the game. Sam is a sophomore at Valparaiso High School. Your favorite subject is science. And your favorite kind of bean is pinto. And I bring that's that up right. because we had a question about beans a little bit earlier, right? Did you answer that one? I did answer that I think that you one. did. So it was right in your bean wheelhouse. That's yes. pretty good. Uh, what about science specifically do you like? Physics, chemistry? Uh, I like chemistry. It's yeah. really interesting. Good. Yeah. good. Well, good. Sam, glad you're here. Good luck to the rest of the game. Chanel is a senior at Valpo High School. You're going to study uh, biology at IUPUI next year, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do with that? Uh, optometry. Nice. Oh. Good. Well, good. I'll probably be visiting you yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, I got you. my eyes get worse every single year. <laughs> Just part of aging. What, what about eyes do you really enjoy? Or the money is good, probably. Yeah, they're cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, Sean. Well, glad you're here. Good to Thank meet you. you. Good luck to the Valparaiso team the rest of the way. They are coached by Chantel Melkai. All right. More game coming your way here in our next round that's called Pop Quiz. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. It'll be Elizabeth versus Chanel, Dominic and Sam, Caitlin versus Nicholas, and Megan and Tim. Again, one-on-one, -on -one, so no conferring with teammates here. We'll go right down the line. And the first five-point clue goes to Chanel and Elizabeth. Give the full three-word name of the Brazilian city founded on the first day of the year 1502 that is also famed for its Sugarloaf Mountain and its hosting of the 2016 Summer Olympics. 
Elizabeth from Michigan City. Rio de Janeiro. That is correct. Rio de Janeiro. Five points for MC. This is for Dominic and Sam. She returned nearly 20 times to the South as a conductor on the Underground Railroad. Dominic from Harriet Michigan Tubman. City. I'm sorry? Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is correct. Now scheduled to replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. Very good. Five more for MC. Your comeback starts now. Nicholas and, and Caitlin, this one is for you. Its painter said, I had to visit France to appreciate Iowa. Name this 1930 painting by Grant Wood that shows a farmer standing next to his daughter in front of a farmhouse. Looking for the painting. American Gothic. Megan and Tim, this one is for you. It can find the grass it survives on by using its shoulder hump to move snow in the winter. Identify this animal that is now the official mammal of the United States. Tim, you're in just in time from Valparaiso. Go ahead. The raccoon. Uh, not the raccoon. I believe we're out of time for the question. Looking for bison or buffalo. Bison or buffalo. All right, back to Chanel and Elizabeth. Five more points at stake here. The English words biathlon, bicuspid, bicameral, binoculars, bicep, bipolar, and bicycle all begin with the Latin prefix bi. What number is that in English, Chanel? Two. Two is correct. Five more points for Valparaiso. He keeps the crowd, sorry, Dominic and Sam, this is for you. He keeps the crowd from attacking the umpire who calls two strikes on him. What baseball star in an Ernest Lawrence Thayer poem renders all of Mudville joyless by striking out? Sam from Valparaiso. Casey. Uh, can you give me the name of the poem? Casey at the bat. Casey at the bat, thank you. I out. Yes, you're right. Good answer there. Five more for Valparaiso. Caitlin and Nicholas, a five-point clue for you. Because the city of Kokura was cloudy and hard to see, American pilots moved to this city instead in August 1945. Name this most recent city to have an atomic bomb dropped on it. Nicholas from Michigan City. Um, Hiroshima. It is not Hiroshima. Caitlin, you want to take a shot? Nothing. <laughs> it's all right. Looking for Nagasaki. Hiroshima, the first bomb, Nagasaki, the most recent, the second one in order there. No worries there. Megan and Tim, for you. Give the eight-letter word that, as a noun, means both the time period someone must spend in jail and a grammatical unit containing a subject and predicate that ends with a period. Megan from Michigan City. Sentence. Sentence is correct. Five points for the Wolves. Elizabeth Chanel, this one is for you. It may create fog if its altitude is low enough and generally creates gray skies. Identify this type of cloud that can combine with all other main types of clouds, cirrus, nimbus, and cumulus. Elizabeth from Michigan City. Cumulonimbus. Uh, incorrect. Chanel? Stratus clouds can combine with the other ones. Cumulostratus, stratus nimbus strat, I don't know, you, you know the words way more than I do. Dominic and Sam, this one is for you. Name the state bordered by Missouri on its south and Minnesota on its north, whose town of Dubuque, Sam from Valparaiso. Iowa. Iowa is correct. Near its border with Wisconsin is 200 miles from Des Moines. Nicholas and Caitlin, this one is for you. A first degree one may heal itself while a second degree one may require skin grafting. Nicholas from Michigan City. A burn. A burn is correct. Five points for Michigan City. Puts you up to 40 and you trail now 60 to 40, closing the deficit just a bit in that round. Nice job by both teams. As we head to our third round, there's points of plenty coming your way. We call this one Class Project. This is group work if you'd like. I will give three clues that all point toward one answer. If you give me the correct answer after the first clue, it's worth 30 points, that's the toughest. If I read two clues, it's worth 20, and all three, it's worth 10 points. Both teams can take a shot at each level, all right? Three clues, one answer, here we go. The category of the first is social studies. Here's your 30 point clue. As a journalist, he supported Alfred Dreyfus before becoming premier in the early 1900s. Everybody's in here. All right, no worries. Same answer, second clue, 20 points. During his second go around as premier, he also served as France's Minister of War.
No penalty to, to miss. You can certainly try at every level. All right, here's your 10 point clue. Identify this statesman, nicknamed Le Tigre and father of victory, who presided over the Paris Peace Conference following World War I. Looking for Georges Clemenceau. George Clemenceau. Don't worry, I didn't know it either. It's on the cards, so I cheated. All right, no, no worries there. Here come three more clues for one answer. Now we're headed to the science side of things. 30-point clue. It was made commercially viable only after Thomas Edison received a patent for a carbon microphone that could be placed next to its transmitter. You can take a shot. Anybody can buzz in. Sam from Valparaiso. Telegraph. It is not the Telegraph. Michigan City, want to take a shot? All right. 20 point clue, same answer. That microphone amplified the electrical signal from a human voice enough so the voice could be transmitted by cable. Dominic from Michigan City. Radio? Uh, it is not radio. Tim from Valparaiso. Telephone? Telephone is correct. 20 points for Valparaiso. And that puts you up to, let's see, we're going to get you at 80 right now. So nice job so far in the game, Valpo. Here we go. Three more clues. One answer, 30 pointer. As a noun, it is a feature of buildings that helps support the weight above it and can be shaped pointed, circular, or even parabolic. It says a noun, Elizabeth from Michigan City. Base. Not base. Sam? Arch. Arch is correct. 30 points for Valpo and a big strike there puts you to 110 as we have reached the end of that round and Valparaiso right now with a 110 to 40 lead. But Michigan City, some catching up to do, but you got a lot of points coming up here in our final round that we call final exam. You will see on the board over there six categories, each containing five questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, respectively. We'll take the questions in that order. The team that has last answered correctly controls the board, except for this first go around, which we'll give to Michigan City because you trail at this point in the game. So Michigan City, where would you like to start with a 10-point clue? History. History it is. We are going to American history specifically. A 10 point clue in that category. This former congressman from Texas assumed the presidency in November 1963 after Tim from Valparaiso. Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ. 10 points for Valpo on the correct response and you control the board. You can either stay there with American history for 15 or go somewhere. I will stay there. Stay there, 15, American history. It, in this five-star general's retirement speech after being fired by Harry Truman, he said, Tim from Valparaiso. MacArthur. Yes, General Douglas MacArthur said, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. 15 for Valpo, you control the board. We'll stay there. Stay there. 20 <laughs> points, American history. In 1865, residents of Galena, Illinois, bought and gave a home to this future U.S. president in gratitude for his Civil War service. Tim from Valparaiso. Grant. Ulysses S. Grant. 20 points for Valpo, and you have the board. Just keep going. We'll Two just more stay clues there. there. We'll just stay You'll there. You'll stay there. 25 in American history. This political party never won another presidential election after it elected John Adams as America's second president. Tim from Valparaiso. Federalist. Federalist party, yes, 25 points. Tim, you're on a personal roll of like 100 <laughs> points so far, so nice job. Where would you like to go? Uh, we'll stay there. You wanna stay Just there, finish sure. up the category, American history for 30. This first American rear admiral in, in, pardon, 1862, said to his men after learning of Confederate torpedoes in the water of Mobile Bay in 1864, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Sorry, I had to say it, it's in the quote. David Farragut, David Farragut, no points awarded there. That's it for American history. Falpo, where shall we go? Recent events. Recent events, 10 point clue there. This state was hammered in 2017 by Hurricane Harvey. Caitlin from Valparaiso. Texas. Texas is right, 10 more points, you're bored. Stay there. Stay there, recent events, 15. This blue precious gem's name describes the jubilee associated with the celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's 65th anniversary on the British throne. Looking for the precious Jim Nicholas from Michigan City. 
Sapphire. Sapphire, yes. 15 points. Your board. What would you like to do? Stay there. Stay there. 20 points. Recent events. A deadly landslide of garbage in this capital of Ethiopia killed more than 80 people. Nicholas from Michigan City. A mudslide? Uh, not mudslide. Alparaiso? The Ethiopian capital is Addis Ababa. Michigan City, 25 or elsewhere. What would stay you like there. to do? You want to stay there? Yeah. 25, recent events. Within days after its initial public offering in 2017, this tech company whose homepage offers geo filters had dropped to less than its IPO price. Sam from Valparaiso. Snapchat. Snapchat is correct, 25. I need a filter for the TV here. And uh, 25 more, you control the board, Valpo. Stay. Stay there. I should get the one with like, the glasses and the puppy ears. I don't know. 30-point clue, recent events. This bill, Reforming Wall Street, is named for the two now former Democrats in Congress who sponsored it. Dodd-Frank, the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act. That wipes out recent events. Valpo, new category. World geography. World geography, <laughs> 10 points there. The Vikings founded the settlement of Lance A Meadows in the eastern part of Newfoundland in this country. Sam from Valpo. Canada. Canada is correct. Oh, Canada, 10 points. What would you like to do? Stay, Stay there, 15 in world geography. This country's four main islands that are home to nearly all of its population include Honshu and Hokkaido. Nicholas from Michigan City. Japan. Japan is correct. 15 for the Wolves. You're back on the board. What would you like to do? Stay there. Stay there. 20, World Geography. This country's Mount Etna is on the island of Sicily. Sam from Valpo. Italy. Italy is correct. Uh -huh. 20 more for the Vikes. You control. We'll stay there. Stay there. 25, World Geography. This country's capital city of Abuja has only one-third the population of its formal capital, former capital, Lagos. Tim from Valpo. Nigeria. Nigeria, yes. 25 more for Valpo. You're up to 270. What would you like to do? Three minutes to go to in the game. Art. Art. 10 point clue there. The medieval Italian artist Giotto is now generally considered this time period's first amazing painter. Generally considered. Dominic from Michigan City. Go ahead. Renaissance. Renaissance, yes. 10 points for MC. Your board. Biology. Biology. Ten point clue there. This term describes the relocation of animals of all kinds, even humans, from one area to another. Sam from Valparaiso. Migration. Migration is correct. Uh, typically during a certain season of the year. Ten points. I'd like to migrate to Florida now. Ten for you. What would you like to do, Valpo? Uh, British Lit for ten. British Lit, ten points there. The Richard Adams novel Watership Down features a warren of these creatures. Nicholas from MC. Whales. Not whales. Valpo? Tim? Sharks. Not sharks. Looking for rabbits. I believe you control. I know. British uh, Lit, totally right in my wheelhouse. Biology. Biology, excellent. Very good. Bad TV. Now, if that was a category, I'd sweep that one. All right. Biology, 15. This evergreen tree's reproductive cycle includes the opening of the female cones that contain its seeds. Kaylin from Valpo. Pine? Pine tree, part of the conifers. Yes, that's correct. 15 for Valpo, and you control. Let's stick with bio. Bio, 20. It's 31 pairs of nerves that control feeling all over your body stretch from the base of your skull down the middle of your back. Chanel. Spinal cord. Spinal cord is correct. 20 more points for Valparaiso. One minute to go in the game. You're bored, Valpo. Art. Art. 15 point clue there. Edvard Munch said this work was an attempt to express the memory of a fear filled sunset with a contrast of hot colors on top and cool colors on the bottom. Caitlin from Valpo. Scream. The Scream, 15 for Valpo. That is correct. Up to 3.30, what would you like to do? British Lit. British Lit, my favorite category. Yes, 15 here. Last name shared by the set of sisters whose novels, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, Were the Wuthering Heights, and Jane Eyre were written by Anne, Charlotte, or Emily. Looking for the last name. 
No takers. Uh, in time? I don't think so. Sorry, Megan. Bronte. Looking for Bronte. And Charlotte or Emily. Valpo. Let's go back to bio. <laughs> bio, 25 in that category. This small arachnid that can cause Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease can often, Sam from Valparaiso. A tick. A tick is correct. 25 points for you. And that does it for our game by a score of 355 to 80. Valparaiso, you will advance to our quarterfinal round. Congratulations, Michigan City, on being here and on a game well played by both teams. That's a great one. We'll wrap it up here. We will see you next time on Making the Grade. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you.